Hey everybody, this is David, the Georgia Photographer, and what I want to do is talk about something that's mm, kind of come to the forefront of my channel lately, and that's the fanboys. The subject has come up so many times in the last couple of months that you can't avoid it at this point. I'm currently filming on the a7 II Sony. Okay, that's one camera I have. I film a good bit with my iPhone X. I just use it. It works. It's handy, convenient. I have it with me. It, I just use it. All right. I have the new Fuji X-T3. I just picked up to replace this dying monster. And honestly, this camera's not really dying. It's just sick, <laughs> for lack of a better term. As it is right now, I've got it mounted on a tripod in my studio, <laughs> and it works perfectly here. So, so I'm using it for that for now. Somebody's make me a sweet offer on it, I'd probably let them have it for a good deal. Hint, hint. The point being is, I still shoot a lot with my D810 Nikon. I, I run the gamut. I have everything but a Canon. Uh, not that I don't like Canon, I just haven't had the need to buy something they make. Although that M50, it sure is appealing. I've got plenty of cameras now. I've got this one, I've got the Fuji, I've got my Nikon, i got my iPhone. The iPhone is actually a legitimate camera. You should not discount your smartphone these days. They do exceptionally well. I mean, you shoot with the Lightroom app on an iPhone and you get really, really good quality images for such a small camera. I mean, the camera module's like that big. You know, it's this tiny little bitty module and it does so well in good light. But anyway, I've been learning how to use the Fuji, and this will probably be one of the last videos I shoot on this Sony because I'm going to start transitioning over to the Fuji. I'm actually going to learn how to color grade, and I'm going to start doing that and try to improve the visual appearance of my videos because, you know, let's all be honest, they've been lacking in well quality and color. But I wanted to just kind of let you guys know this is how far back my preference for Fuji cameras goes. Enter this little guy. This is a Finepix S700 that I bought, if I remember right, in 2007. This was the kind of segue that got me away from film cameras. This little guy right here, all right? This camera, watch this neat trick. This camera is 11 years old. If I power it up, give it a second, it still works. Now, of course, the video, I bought it to shoot video with back then. I don't even know what kind of video it shoots, if you don't know the truth. I just used to shoot the footage and upload it. We didn't even edit or anything. I'd just take it out of the camera and stick it on YouTube. This footage, or this camera, was kind of what got me into digital cameras. It was This was my first foray. It actually has an electronic viewfinder. 11 years ago, EVF, it's got a button right here that you have to hit to switch it over to the EVF. So you hit the button and it mechanically actuates a switch, which switches it to this one. There's no auto switching back then. It's got the zoom button like a camcorder. It's got the teles telephoto and wide angle option, you know, T and W on here for telephoto and it zooms in. Actually, it zooms pretty darn good. but. <laughs> and it's optical. It has digital zoom as well. It shoots macro from what I remember. This little camera was pretty impressive. 10 times optical zoom, yeah. It says right on it. That was my first Fuji, all right? All right, there we go. Turn it off. This is my second Fuji. So I go from this to this um, 11 years later. This lens, I, st I moved from this to a Sony Cybershot. I don't know if y'all know what those are. It's another little point and shoot. And it was a little better photo quality than this guy. This one shoots, it says 7.1 megapixel images. That's pretty darn high resolution for 2007. <laughs> but that camera served me well for a while. I think I got the, I think I got the Sony Cybershot about 2010. I used this for several years. I got tired of the, the focus motor noise, thinking I was gonna get away from it with the Sony and it didn't because I was using the internal mics, you get focus motor noise. That's part of life. After that, I finally got into interchangeable lens cameras and I bought my first interchangeable lens camera, digital interchangeable lens camera, and that was the Nikon D7000. 
I got it in like 2012. When I got my D810, I never shot with it no more, so I just went ahead and liquidated it and bought lenses with the money. Oh, great. Somebody's got a chainsaw going. Figures. Anyway, the long and short of it is, I'm not loyal to any one particular brand. You'll see people there, and they're pretty quick to defend Canon. Canon's and Canon and Sony's fanboy base is pretty strong. They're right there together when it comes to defending their brand. At the end of the day, shoot what you like. That's what it boils down to for me. I'm not so obsessed with any one manufacturer that I can't branch out and try something different. Like I said, I'm looking at a Sony a7 II. I got a Fuji X-T3 right here. That's a Nikon D810 in the house. And I like them all. <laughs> so, if you enjoy shooting with Canon cameras, buy Canon cameras. By all means. It's just don't tie yourself down to one brand just because you like that brand. Yeah. If they offer something that you're wanting, then by all means. But if they're just buying it because you like that brand, yeah, try to branch out. Try to be a little more open-minded. It gives you more options at the end of the day. So, with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer, and I'm signing off with the Sony probably for the last time. So y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.